Welcome to Explain, a series of health education programs published by the Patient Education Institute, the leading provider of interactive health education. This video includes general medical information and does not replace the medical advice of your doctor or healthcare provider. If you have questions pertaining to your medical condition, ask your doctor or healthcare provider. Throat Cancer Introduction The throat carries food and air into the body. Throat cancer is a type of head and neck cancer. It can start in the cells of any part of the throat. Throat cancer is not common, but tobacco and alcohol use can increase a person's risk of developing throat cancer. This program will help you better understand throat cancer. It also discusses treatment options. The throat. The throat is also called the pharynx. It is a hollow tube that starts behind the nose. It ends at the top of the trachea, or windpipe, and the esophagus. The pharynx carries food from the mouth to the esophagus. The esophagus takes food to the stomach. The pharynx also carries air to the trachea and larynx, or voice box. The pharynx is made up of three parts. The nasopharynx, the oropharynx, the hypopharynx. The larynx is also a part of the throat. It is sometimes called the voice box and is located between the base of the tongue and the trachea. The larynx contains the vocal cords. The vocal cords vibrate and make sound when air moves against them. The sound echoes through the pharynx, mouth, and nose to make a person's voice. Throat Cancer The body is made up of very small cells. Normal cells in the body grow and die in a controlled way. Sometimes cells keep dividing and growing in an uncontrolled way. This causes an abnormal growth called a tumor. If the tumor does not invade nearby tissues and body parts, it is called a benign tumor. A benign tumor is a non-cancerous growth. Benign tumors are usually not life-threatening. If the tumor invades nearby tissues and body parts, it is called a malignant tumor or cancer. Cancer cells spread to different parts of the body through blood vessels and lymph channels. Lymph is a clear fluid produced by the body that drains waste from cells. It travels through special vessels called lymph nodes. Cancer that moves from one tissue to other body parts is known as metastatic cancer. For instance, a throat tumor may grow through the outer layer of the throat and into nearby tissues over time. Cancers in the body are given names depending on where the cancer started. Cancer that begins in the throat will always be called throat cancer even if it spreads to other places. Throat cancer is a type of head and neck cancer. Throat cancer has different names depending on what part of the throat is affected. For example, the upper part of the throat is called the nasopharynx. If cancer starts in the nasopharynx, then the cancer may be called nasopharyngeal cancer. Sometimes the larynx or voice box may also be affected by cancer. Sponsored by the Patient Education Institute. www.patient-education.com Over 5,000 videos and interactive tutorials. Risk Factors it is usually impossible to specify the cause of cancer in an individual patient, but we do know what causes cancer in general. Certain factors can increase the chance of getting cancer. These are known as risk factors. Tobacco and alcohol use are the main risk factors for throat cancer. This includes smoking and chewing tobacco. Other risk factors include being exposed to certain viruses, such as the Epstein-Barr virus or HPV. Eating a diet low in fruits and vegetables. Having Asian ancestry. Not everybody who has risk factors for cancer gets it, and some people who have no risk factors for cancer can still get cancer. Symptoms Throat cancer may not cause any symptoms at first. Symptoms often start after the cancer has grown. Common symptoms of throat cancer include a change or hoarseness in the voice, 
a lump in the neck or throat, a sore throat or cough that does not go away, ear pain or ringing in the ears, pain or difficulty when swallowing. Other common symptoms of throat cancer are a dull pain behind the breastbone, headaches, nosebleeds, trouble breathing, speaking, or hearing, weight loss for no known reason. Diagnosis Your healthcare provider will ask about your personal and family medical history. A physical exam will be done. Your healthcare provider will look at your nose, face, and neck. A small, long-handled mirror is used to check for abnormal areas inside the mouth. Your face and neck will also be checked for any lumps or swollen lymph nodes. Imaging tests of the head and neck can be done to find tumors. These tests may include X-rays, including barium esophagogram and barium swallow, MRI, CT scan, bone scan, PET scan, Tests that use thin, lighted scopes may be used to diagnose throat cancer. The tube is inserted through the nose or mouth to check different parts of the throat for anything that seems unusual. During scope tests, tissue samples may be taken. This is called a biopsy. The samples are then viewed under a microscope to check for cancer cells. A biopsy may also be done using a needle to remove a small amount of tissue or fluid. This is called a fine needle aspiration biopsy. A biopsy is the only sure way to know if cancer cells are present. Staging If you have throat cancer, your healthcare provider will determine the stage of the cancer. Staging is an attempt to find out if the cancer has spread, and if so, to which parts of the body. Stages of throat cancer are usually described using the numbers 1 through 4. A lower number indicates an earlier stage. The stage of cancer is determined based on the size of the tumor, whether the cancer has spread to lymph nodes, whether the cancer has spread to other parts of the body, and if so, to where. Treatment and supportive care. The type of treatment for throat cancer depends on the location and size of the tumor, the stage of cancer, the health of the patient. Treatment for throat cancer may include surgery, radiation therapy, chemotherapy, targeted therapy. Some combination of these treatments may be used. Surgery is the most common treatment for throat cancer. It often involves removing the cancer and some of the healthy tissue around the cancer. If the cancer is spread, the lymph nodes and other tissues in the neck may need to be removed. Radiation therapy uses high-energy x-rays or other types of radiation to kill cancer cells or keep them from growing. The way the radiation therapy is given depends on the type and stage of the cancer being treated. Chemotherapy uses drugs to kill cancer cells. Chemotherapy may be given in the bloodstream through an IV or taken by mouth. It can also be placed in a specific area of the body. Targeted therapy uses drugs to target specific differences in cancer cells to try and prevent the cells from growing and spreading. Talk with your healthcare provider to see if this is a good option in your case. Cancer and its treatment can lead to other health problems. It is important to have supportive care before, during, and after cancer treatment. Supportive care is treatment to control symptoms. The goal is to relieve the side effects of therapy and help you cope. If you like this video, please like and share. For similar videos, subscribe to our channel. Summary The throat carries food and air into the body. Throat cancer is a type of head and neck cancer. It can start in the cells of any part of the throat. Throat cancer is not common, but tobacco and alcohol use can increase a person's risk of developing throat cancer. Throat cancer may not cause any symptoms at first. Symptoms often start after the cancer has grown. Symptoms of throat cancer can include a change or hoarseness in the voice, a lump in the neck or throat, a sore throat or cough that does not go away, ear pain or ringing in the ears, pain or difficulty when swallowing. 
Throat cancer is diagnosed using imaging tests and scope tests. During scope tests, tissue samples may be taken for testing. This is called a biopsy. A biopsy is the only sure way to know if cancer cells are present. Treatment for throat cancer may include surgery, radiation therapy, chemotherapy, targeted therapy. Talk to your healthcare provider about the side effects and risks of each treatment option and which is the best for your case. Thank you for using Explain.